Today I would like to talk to you about my new crawler. This is a new design um, and it has some special features that I would like to show you. As you know, with a the crawler there are some basic rules such as that you want to have uh, big wheels so you can go over humps and obstacles. Uh, you also want to have um, the major weight in front so when you go uphill that you don't topple over so the, the big weight of the battery is again very much on the front and as for any crawler you do not do differential but instead you're going to use uh, these very heavy gears to transmit the force this is a four-wheel drive so all four wheels are being driven and um, there's also um, uh, a gear reduction here in the wheels uh, that makes it a bit slower but more powerful. Um, what is very special about this car is that it uses a new gearbox that you see over here. This is the gearbox designed by Serio and it uses the new Chevron uh, tooth wheels to change gear. And um, you can do this while you drive and it has a total of four different gears. Now, this gearbox requires you to change gear by doing a 90 degree turn. So um, in here, on the other side, actually on the inside, um, this tooth wheel here, both of them actually, have to be turned by 90 degrees to change into the next gear. And it's a sequential gear shift. So it goes um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, I should say. Um, and to do an exact 90 degrees, that's not really possible with you using the normal power function. So what you need essentially is uh, a microcontroller. So that's why we're using the, um, micro, uh, the um, EV3 Mindstorm and an M motor here that uh, does exactly 90 degrees uh, to change the gear. And since we have an EV3 here anyway to change the, the gears, we might as well use it to also do the control of the steering and also to run the main motor. So we've got three motors in here that you see from the top in here, three motors, uh, one's for steering, one's is for driving and one's is for changing the gears. So, um, that is the car and we're going to see it uh, uh, in action now. But before we do that, I would like to talk a little bit about the remote control that I developed to drive this car. This is your standard infrared power function remote control. And it has two switches uh, which allow you to go 100% forward, 100% backward, 100% right, 100% left. And it uses infrared to communicate to the car. This is a very simple way of doing it, but it has some severe disadvantages. One is that you need to have a line of sight to the vehicle, otherwise it doesn't receive the commands. But the biggest problem is that it's not proportional. It is all or nothing. It's full on, full on, full off, uh, and nothing in between. You can't just drive a little bit right or a little bit left. That's not possible. Now, the train infrared uh, power function remote allows you to have different speeds uh, that you can set and you can also control a servo motor into different positions. But unfortunately, um, it just sends a command about once a second and uh, sometimes it just misses a control. So um, um, it just not, it's not a particularly good control. Plus it doesn't have a back to center. So if you, if you let go, it doesn't automatically go back to the straight. So you actually have to always try to bring it back to the straight. You can push the red button, which will then actually put the servo into the zero position and it will stop the motor. But this is just not a very elegant way of controlling things. Now, the next thing I would like to show you, of course, is uh, the s brick The s brick um, is a very nice uh, third-party microcontroller that allows you to control four power function motors. And it uses Bluetooth to communicate with a smartphone and there you can indeed control uh, all four motors uh, proportionally. This is a new uh, power-up controller 
that uh, LEGO has just released. And um, the, similar to the previous controller, uh, you can just press up and down. Um, and supposedly this is actually uh, uh, changing the motor in 10 steps. Uh, it has the red button again to stop. Um, a new feature here is that you can actually rotate these um, these dials and um, yeah, you can adjust it to whatever you want to do. But fundamentally, me, this is very similar to the con train controller before, except that it is using now um, the Bluetooth connectivity. Now, there's a better way now of doing it, uh, which is, of course, now with a smartphone. So if you have a smartphone, you can now use um, this function of the power up. And here again, you can actually control uh, it proportionally. So you can go fast and slow. And uh, this is a very nice way of doing it. But um, the biggest disadvantage is that you still do not have any manual feedback on, on what you do. So the golden standard for remote controls is of course uh, something like this that you can see from the RC world where you have uh, uh, you can go forward and backward with this and you have um, back to center in both directions so this is a very nice way of controlling the speed and you have a dial for left and right and together this is a very ergonomic way of controlling um, a, a car or a ship or whatever you want to control now, to do this, uh, uh, to control this little car over here, uh, I built uh, a similar handheld controller where you can have uh, a button to adjust the speed and um, uh, it has it back to center. So you have a, a tactile feedback. The harder the press you press, the faster it will go. And at the same time, you have got a dial uh, which you can turn to go left and right. And you see here a spring mechanism that allows you to um, uh, receive feedback and so you actually feel it when you press against it and this works in both directions left and right so it's quite nice on the back side you'll see two rotation sensor that communicate uh, the position um, of of this lever and of the wheel uh, to the ev3 which then communicates via bluetooth to the second ev3 um, and so you can control your uh, crawler with this new remote control. So I'd say let's take it for a spin. So now the two EV3s are communicating via Bluetooth and I've put the car into the lowest gear and the more I press on the lever, the faster the car will go. So if I just press a little bit, it will go very slow and if I press more, it will go faster. Right, and at the same time, I can also switch uh, forward and backward. So now we'll go backward. And forward again. Now, to change the gear, you can again just press uh, the gear up. So now we're in a second gear, which means the car will go already much faster. And again, we can just circle through all these gears and uh, drive around. Now, and the steering, of course, works uh, in the same way. You just turn the wheel and uh, the wheel of the car turn and it goes back to center, which is very convenient. Right, so this is uh, a little bit of a car. And now, of course, since this is a crawler, we want to see how well it does on going up a steep hill. So this uh, MDF plate now is uh, set to uh, 30 degrees and I put the car into the lowest gear so let's see if we can do it. So four-wheel drive, 30 degrees, that's pretty good isn't it? Just to give you an impression of how fast this car can go in its fastest gear, so here we go.
compared to the slowest gear and you can also change the gear while you're driving. This is one of the advantages of this gear box that you can change. Thank you.